Pai, and welcome to today's lesson, Area of Circles. We already know that the area is talking about what is inside the shape. Here we have a circle drawn on grid paper. If I look inside the circle, I notice that there's 1, 2, 3, 4 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 16 squares that fit completely inside the circle. But what about the outer edges? These ones are partial squares, so how do I account for those? Well, the first thing we're going to do today is investigate how to find the area of the circle formula, where did it come from, and then we're going to apply it. Let's start by cutting up our circle into equal pieces. Each of these pieces is called a sector, and what I'm going to do is just place a triangle inside each one to represent um, this amount of space or area. I'm going to go ahead and pull out the bottom half of my circle and I'm going to align them into a straight line here. Now remember this is the um, close approximation because it is flat instead of curved on the bottom, but if I was to look at the distance from here to here, that would be about half the circumference because we know that it's on the outside edge and it's inside the circle and it was only the bottom section. So when I take out the pink section, I'm going to align those as well, but something interesting happens when I place them together. It creates what looks like a parallelogram, and this is going to help us for understanding where the formula for the area of a circle came from. We know the area of a parallelogram is going to be length times height. It's very similar to the area of a rectangle, but instead of length times width, it's length times height, because we can't use this diagonal piece. So we need to find the measure from here to here. Looking at the circle, there's something interesting. The distance from the center to the outside edge happens to be the same distance from the bottom to the top of this parallelogram. And that distance in this particular circle is our radius. So I'm going to replace that line with the letter R for radius. We already said the distance from here to here is half the circumference. And we know there's two circumference formulas. There is pi times diameter, or uh, 2 times pi times radius. So I'm going to use that formula, and I'm going to place it over 2 to represent the half of the circumference. So here's the circumference formula, and here's half of it. When I do that, I notice that 2 divided by itself is going to be 1, so those actually cancel out. Then I'm left with dimensions that this parallelogram is radius and height, and pi times radius and length. So I'm going to multiply all three of those together. And I end up with area equals pi times radius, which is the length of my parallelogram, times radius for the height, or area equals pi times r squared. Now that we have our formula, let's go ahead and apply it. So the first step of solving any circle problem is to go ahead for our area, is to go ahead and rewrite the formula. So I'm gonna write area equals pi times r squared. Something important to think about here is that this is not radius times 2. So I don't get this confused. I'm going to rewrite this as area equals pi times radius times radius. This just helps me remember that I'm going to be multiplying the radius by itself here. The next part is to find out um, what is the radius in this circle. They did not tell us the dimension, but they do have it on grid paper so I can count. So I can see that it has a distance of three, so this radius is three units. Now I'm ready to substitute in my formula. So I'm gonna be using 3.14 as an approximation for pi. So I have area equals 3.14 times three times three, because I will be writing my radius twice. And my last step is to multiply. So area is approximately 28 and 26 hundredths units squared. In my circumference problems, I was talking about one dimension, but in this, I'm talking about two dimensions because I'm talking about the area inside, so I have to write my units squared. Let's look at another example. Here we have a circle that is 16 feet by diameter, so let's go ahead first and write out our formula. Area equals pi r squared. And I always like to rewrite it, so I'm going to rewrite it as area equals pi times radius times radius. So I remember I'm multiplying the radius by itself, not by 2. 
And then this 16 feet, how do I find my radius here? Do I need it? Unlike the circumference formula, there is no separate one that we can use with just diameter. So it says to find the area, you must use the radius. Well, if I know that 16 feet represents the distance all the way across, I only want to know the distance half across to find the radius. And half of 16 feet is 8 feet. So our next step is to substitute. So I have, again, 3.14 is my approximation for pi. So I have area is about 3.14 times 8 times 8. And then finally, when I multiply, I get area is approximately 200.96 feet squared. And again, we always want to put the squared on my units. Let's, let's wrap up. My steps for area of circles. Step one, find the radius. Remember that the diameter divided by two is also radius if they give you a diameter. Step two, write the formula as pi times radius times radius. And you can get more comfortable with that step. You do not always have to write that, but it always helps me to remember that I'm multiplying the radius by itself. Step three is to substitute pi and the radius. And step four is to multiply. Don't forget to write your answers as units squared. That wraps up our lesson. Thanks so much for tuning in. Feel free to click to subscribe for this and other videos. Until next time.